I think I'm starting to get to them now. Hear them outside? Yeah. There's no charges against me. Ever. See, for you to get charges against you, the police have to come out and talk to you with Miranda rights. Never happen. I would have to be subpoenaed to the prosecutor's office. With an attorney, couldn't afford one and wanted to be appointed to me. That never happened. The prosecutor would have had to took me in front of a judge. And the judge would have had to place charges against me in with my attorney. With the prosecutor's office. Never happened. There's no charges against me. There's nothing. There's nothing. There is no court trial of finding me guilty. They didn't have a court or a watch. I mean, there's no such thing. We've already went over the surveillance laws. Mm -mm. They weren't allowed in my home. That's why they were for stalking. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. They, June of 19, Liberty House Share. The Ravenna police are in the back. Okay? And one day, some officer told the North Canton or Jackson police and other people standing in there, the worst thing you ever did wrong, honey, is you bent over him properly. We can wipe that one out because they caught Melissa six lies. One of them was changing up from the back of my knees because I got these horrible varicose veins. So picking out a nightgown I didn't know and told the kids to say they seen my tushy nine years ago and they only seen the back of my knees. I didn't own that nightgown. I had to verify it. Stupid. She made up a whole bunch of lies. She's a documented liar. <clears throat> okay. So I bet, that's why I said we can wipe that one out because they only see the back of my knees. He was laughing. Okay. Well, another day, there was a man back there from Ravana on the phone. You made up a case to watch her before. That's funny. You did what to her before? That's funny. She must really like him. I'm like, shut up. Made up a case to watch me. Made up court order to watch me. Made up where they drug me with needles. And Rofi drinks. They had fake sodium pentothal reports. Nobody uses it. It makes you crazy. It's a lethal outlaw drug. You say yes to anything. They act like they have charges against me. You can't have charges against me. I've never even been questioned. Yeah. And in the meantime, during the state investigation, we'll create it and turn over the plates. All the kids were found lying in 2018. They're documenting me games of pretend. And I was found innocent in 18 and 19. That's how stupid they are. Yeah. My family spoke highly of me. They better. I almost died to save them. Lived through a concentration camp from these people trying to keep them out. Because they put a threat on Dixie and the baby's life. And then they ordered me to give my jewelry back. Getting 18 grand in jewelry. Out of, underneath the threat of life is extortion and racketeering. It's illegal. This whole quite cases. They told Dave March 1st to March 15th, 19, 8.30, 10.30 at night in the legally bugged house in Ravenna. It's a real life case of how to get away with murder. They're selling, selling murder and terrorism. I told you, I don't think all the police knew what was going on because the ones in uniform is high speed. Mm -hmm. Prosecutor's office when I went to Dave didn't mention a word. Sheriff's, when I mentioned it, I uh, went into a report Dave never mentioned or. So it's just the terrorist group. <clears throat> I was in FedEx yesterday. Someone called the guy in FedEx. Karen's well realized this is a terrorist group doing it to her. It is. And now they're going to process more May 5th at Tater's office. And Mercy Medical, some weirdos could show up with computers. They showed up at Walmart in Belden after I was checked. They come in and look at me with a tall white guy with black hair and a black beard. That's the one we used to process. Example to process people. Now we can process more. They don't care if you're rich or poor. Mm -hmm. They just need victims so that they can sell real rapes, real drugging, real shooting. Real abducting and cutting your skull open. Real rapes, real tortures. And people buy it like it's a show and it's real. And these people are sick. They're sick finding this funny and now they're going to process more. There's nothing against me. 
Matter of fact, when I tell the police about the legal surveillance, they laugh about it. It's not admissible per Department of Justice. Fourth Amendment right to privacy. Nobody can be in your home except for those special protective light cases. And they have to be set up correctly or they're thrown out. It's the only thing Will did right. Like Reinhardt said, and Officer Reinhardt said in Louisville, until he took your statement and agreed to protect you, nobody could be in your home. They couldn't. It's a legal search and seizure. They know that. They know it's not admissible. They know they didn't have a court order. They said they had fake paperwork to make it look official. Fake case to watch me, fake court order, fake charges against me. There's nothing against me. Nothing at all. Matter of fact, if they talk to the Maslin police, they'll tell you she's innocent of everything. It's already proven. Mm -hmm. It's that stupid. The only thing they included was they were stalking me and photoshopping shower scenes in the other room while they were stalking me and where I had bruises. I couldn't explain. They were beating me under amnesia drugs. And they were all like they gave money all this. I look at them like, you're crazy. The police tell me as soon as someone says something to you, call 911 and we'll come arrest them for being part of this. They can't break in and stalk you. Nobody can do that. You have a right to privacy, a right to remain quiet, right to legal representation, right to a fair court trial, bail, and bond. You can't be in somebody's home. It's a special life case, protected life cases only, set up correctly. That's why that heavy set officer talked to Dave within a few days, made a public statement at Walmart 62. He watched me several times. No, like the Freemasons that helped out in Ravenna. But this case, they had those people dead to rights hurting her. And they don't even need her. There's no charges against me. The police are not interested. I mean, some guys that were following me around a few days ago pulled in the safe lot, parking lot. The police couldn't even, ima couldn't even imagine somebody even saying anything bad about her. No, I almost died to save my family. Faced a concentration camp set up by these people trying to keep them out. The Freemasons and Ravenna Karen's amazing. I lived through hell trying to save my family. They'd be in their face. How dare you people insult her? She almost died to save those people. I did. And I lived through hell trying to keep them out. Someone needs to come help me. The FBI was clueless in this area. They had no idea. They didn't even bother with Will's case. I got to thinking, I had called down when I seen that guy walking down the road and he took off through the side woods. His secretary yelled out something to Will and she's like, we're busy here and now there's police out there, better get a hold of this. They didn't bother because they were busy and the police up there were breaking, they stayed out everything for Dave's girlfriend while other police departments seen it and they didn't know who these people were. The terrorist group that they were sent back about and I'm hoping. But it goes into a main protective life case. Into all police databases. For protective life custody for informant. Legally set up. Karen, <clears throat> officers in uniform. They have referred to it as Karen around the house. One of them said, what's that? One of us have to watch or listen to her every day. That officer didn't even know that man went to pay Marie either. They said it was a stunt, so Dave could confront me in the truck before I called Will back. Then the amnesia drugged me up, so I couldn't remember anything but the what a shame guy. I couldn't even remember the attempted kidnapping, attempted to carjack, and he threatened to knife me and giant eagle. It was a whole different guy than the what a shame guy. I remember the what a shame guy. I couldn't think, and if he wouldn't have said he needed a witness, I wouldn't have remembered it that I asked Sarah. That's how far my mind was gone. My head was spinning again. The day before I called him back, I had to go mow the lawn and um, get air in my face to think of even calling Sarah, will you witness for me while they're leaving threats in the mall? Of course, Karen, I'm scared for you. Buy a card, put Will's number on it, take it out to the mall. 
We, her man, she had already left. Her manager put it in her locker. We go on to Apostolic Church of Barberton. Paul Pamer gets into his face in front of 75 to 100 people. My God, I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. I walk off. I sit down. He looks like the guy from the cooking show. Okay? Dave comes in. Let's go. We get out in the vehicle. You call the FBI on me. I'm like, what did you expect with you threatening my life? I had to take care of you myself. And uh, he's threatening my life. And he's got a loaded gun between the council. I put my arm on it. He knocks it off. He's threatening my life. Until the point I'm holding on to the doorknob. Okay? And I was ready to jump out on the highway at one point. I was that afraid of him. It was horrible in that truck. So the next morning, there's no turning back. And I have to call, I have to wait for him to leave to call Will. Do you know what I remember? Because my head was spinning. What a shame guy. My friend that lives on the corner, he showed up. He's like, I got a problem. I said, what's that? He said, I don't know how I got home. I'm like, go sleep it off. He said, I got $80 in my pocket, and I don't know how. I'm like, well, check your bank. He took 100 out. He's like, well, that explains 80. He said, well, what was in the box with mustard? And how did I change my shoes? Somebody roofied him, and they let him drive around high all night. They're date rape drugs. You never remember. He went back to that bar. After they roofied him, he told everybody he was an astronaut, and they let him leave high driving around all night. It's not funny. Now, I've never been questioned. I've never been prosecuted. And I've never been tried. And I'll be like the investigators that were walking around in June last year in Walmart. What are these people talking about? She's never hurt anybody. Even the FBI building, we all know she never hurt anybody. Melissa's kids are documenting me games of pretend. They wanted the house for Auntie Shell. And Papa, they stated it. And then later on the floor, they made everything up. Um, and then the where they were going to put two clips together and put me in a porn. It's not her, it's them. Um, March 2nd to the 3rd, 21, 8 30, 10 30 at night. Then May. 14, 22 at noon at Bubba's, they scream at him. We found the tape of those boys admitting it was a shower scene in the other room. Where the nurse at Mercy Medical, March 13, 21, uh, the only thing they had on you was adjusting yourself. Uh, and the guy said, that's sick. Now she just simply wipes up off some water or rock with clothes on. That's it. It's actually funny. Not touching, not wear touching, not exposing, just simply wipes up off. I'm like, what on earth? Well, right in town. You didn't expose yourself, you're good. Well, Mark's are running around on Cleveland Avenue. We know what they could try to say, that one, Mark. And then over at that 1260 Fairlawn, where they're in the legal surveillance, too, yelling lies, um, some guy showed up in a truck and yelled at him, we'd have to shut down the nation for that, just simply wipe something off, you know. Um, and then March 24th, 22, two apartment buildings for me, I've read one. There's a heavy set white man and a dark-haired woman. And uh, some old white guys out there screaming at him. You framed her before? Yeah, I framed her before. Shame on you. I know. I wish I wouldn't have done it. I feel bad about everything. Those people even raped her. You should. Amy heard it next door. The people in the apartment building for mine second close to the fence that read it out Dave for roofing me and tell me to say something stupid. And then defense man type. That's where it's priceless. Um, that they came out and said we heard, all heard that bastard. or meant to frame her. I'm out of in Canton at one other clients, we all heard that back because they sold a log in. We all heard that bastard meant to frame her. Well, when I'm sitting around the house and they're saying stuff that didn't happen, it's like, the only time I touch myself like that is, sorry. I walk outside because my house is but She figured out what they did. Ho, 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 off in the dark. Okay? Well, May 12th, 22. Bubba's restaurant, noon. I go to go into mentors. They're standing on the patio. There's tape and audio of the people following me around, screaming out. We found the tape of those boys admitting it was a shower scene in the other room, and none of this is funny. Well, they told Ed at the Oakland apartment, December 9, 21, 4 p.m., all the tapes before were them, not her. 
wow, what's going on? It's a group of men doing as many crimes as they can to see if someone will actually stop them. December 9, 21, Star County Hunger Task Force. There was a white man, bald, dark eyes, distributing food. He was a security guard in the case. He comes out. It makes my stomach turn seeing it in a place like this. We always knew the tapes before were them, not her. So we never said a word. Okay? It was them. Photoshopping me and drugging me where I had bruises I couldn't explain, and those perverts are in there stalking me. In photoshopping scenes, they just didn't bother to tell me. I had stalkers, I had shooters, people breaking and drugging me then, and Dave beating on me with internal injuries. I had a lot to deal with. Um, so that goes back to January 25th, 2019, 8.30, 10.30 at night, while I'm crying in my room. Dave was acting crazy, so all the cops are at the end of the road. And while I'm crying in my room, one of them show up, the police always knew she was innocent and innocent before they were talking about it at the station. Some guy was bailing his guy out from a team said, if she's innocent, I'll pay a fine or bail. Said, no, the police already knew she was innocent and innocent before, and they never want to arrest her. It was somebody else that did something wrong before. So that goes to even November 24th, 21, Altman stack care. I'm with my other client on Wales Road, 8.40 a.m. A not Maslin officer comes in a uniform. I'm here to watch her. There's a Steve and Eric stalking her, and we don't know who they are yet. And it's finally got funny after everything they did. Nothing's admissible. Okay. By January 3rd, 22, I'm back in the Stark County Hunger Task Force. Okay. There's securities walk around with walkie-talkies. The informant's here. No one's to say anything to her. Well, the there's two white uh, guys that are investigators were mad that guy knew they did all this to her before and it's some guy named Eric and we don't know who he is yet. Well, at the Oakland apartment I told the African American man that works with them, he's like, it's not funny what's going on. He said, I know, somebody had told me that all the tapes before were them, not her, and it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here. He's, and he already knew about this dark kind of hunger task force guy. He said he had already told them the same thing. Now, Ed's talked to investigators and the camp police. I was in Shine in March. They were ta in there talking to people. Um, we could never look or listen to these people's tapes. We just want their involvement in this. And the hairdresser come out and talk to the other hairdresser. They already know everything was photoshopped. People in that red building, they yelled out from the outside steps, we're sorry for participating in this. I've had quite a few men apologize to me. And then there's still a lot of making fun of me for a, wa a washing scene and a shower scene that some idiot photoshopped in the other room. Why would you make fun of me? That's sick. Do you want them to watch your family and photoshop you in other rooms? Break in and stab you with amnesia drugs? Rape you or beat you and get you to say something so you couldn't remember who did it? That's like making fun of a woman that got roofied in a bar and got raped and didn't know who raped her. That's sick, and they took videos of it and showed it to their friends. And got her to say something stupid and think they're going to extort money, and she don't even know who did it. That's sick. Welcome to my world. No, I do remember rape and torture, beat rape and torture. I went to tell on them between July and September 19. The dark gray truck, white shaped had six foot stocky dark eyes a uh, undercover officer in Ravenna courthouse told everybody they were agents from the agency station in the courthouse now they're dirty cops he was in it with a stalker stalkers between february and march of 19 white man black stubbly hair dark eyes 30 sloppy pants at walmart saw pay register another man got him on my face he's the one smothered me and the cops punched me in my private area and punching me outside and uh, there's an old fam white man. There's a video in the case between July and September 19. Faye Family Church yelled at him for, in front of a thousand people. What he did was consider rape. Leave me alone. Yeah, that bastard actually threatened to rape, uh, arrest me for him rape and torturing a confessional. Yeah, that's not legal smeal. Uh -uh. Not even a little bit. I can still go through more people that knew people lied, 
police department's backing me. A state case that the cat and FBI started and turned over the police. And all the police know I'm innocent. And the FBI does too, because it's one of the things they said. We all know she never hurt anybody. I almost died to save everybody too. And I shouldn't die for a chip in my head for a terrorist group. And they need to help me. And they need to get down here before they process more.